guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. Today I have an upcycling video which I'm so excited to be showing you today. I've wanted to do a bit more upcycling on my YouTube channel for a while now and today I'm going to be turning a pair of trousers into a snazzy pair of shorts. I'm super happy with how they turned out so I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this at home with an old pair of trousers and hopefully you can upcycle them and make them into some lovely shorts for summer. So if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. First thing we need to do is try them on so we can start to pin if there's anything we need to take in at the waist um, and then we can measure how long we need to do them and then work out seam allowance and that kind of thing. So here are the trousers, you can see they're a bit big for me so what I need to do is work out how much I need to take them in. The only issue is it's got a side zip, so it does complicate things because um, I don't want to have to be faffing around, taking the zip out and putting the zip back in. So what I might do is I might add in like a little pleat here and then another one here and just a little bit like that. And then if I do add in a waist tie, I can do the waist tie from like the front bit and there and there so that it comes across and it kind of gives it that like paper bag effect when you've got them on and um, up high on your waist. So I'm gonna work that out. I kind of roughly know, if I pin it, I'll roughly know how much in terms of measurements to take them in um, and then kind of go from there. So that's that. Um, and then in terms of legs, I really love the kind of like the fact that they go out and then it's kind of where they start to go back in is where I really want to cut. I don't want them short shorts, obviously, um, but that's kind of where my crutch is. So what you want to do is you want to just measure from the crutch down. Um, and I would say I want them to cover my bottom, which is about there. So you kind of need to look at, your, look at the fit of them, feel where your bottom is, and then kind of go from that bit. So I'd like them to sort of sit around here. So I'm going to pin that now. Um, and just doing it by eye, to be honest, eyeballing it. Um, and then once I take them off, I can then pin where that pin is and, and cut them and work out seam allowance and stuff from that point. Um, but it kind of gives you a guideline when you're wearing it to see where you'd want it to, to fall. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to pop a little pin in and then we can put them on the table and start doing our measuring and stuff like that. So now, as you can see, I've got my waist pinned and then I pinned it, obviously I have to take it off on a zip. So I know it's about, roughly about an inch on each side that needs to come in. So what I might do is on the back, we've got these nice darts that kind of give you that nice um, fit around the bottom. So yeah, what I might do is add um, some extra like darts on the back band here um, because I just want to make this as easy as possible for myself really. Or the other option is to add, um, when I cut off the excess legs, to add a waist strip, like a belt, on the back here that I fasten here. Add some waist ties on the side and then just have it so it's like a paper bag waist so you've got, it will be slightly gathered around your waist. Um, so I'm going to decide on that in a minute. But first, easiest thing to do is the trouser legs. I've pinned where I want my uh, trousers to finish. So what I need to do is measure on this inside leg and work out a seam allowance because it's going to be a rolled hem. I just need to add whatever excess it is that I need. So let's start off by measuring the inside leg. So we kind of pin roughly eyeballing it about here. Just need to measure this about 24 inches. You can work in inches or centimetres, whatever's better for you. So once you've pinned your markings, you want to get a ruler and then use a bit of tailor's chalk to put a line where you need to cut. So that's our rough line. And now we need to work out our seam allowance. So in terms of rolled or hem, I like it to be about an inch. So we're gonna add two inches onto here to allow for one roll, then another roll, if that makes sense. So you do one and then two. So I'm gonna do two inches from that line that we've just drawn. Like that. I 
drawn your lines, what I like to do is just get the inside leg to the inside leg of the other one from the join and just make sure that they meet up and as you can see the line runs nice and parallel to each other which means I've measured it properly <laughs> so now we can just go ahead and cut where those lines are So we've got these trouser legs and what I want to do is create a waistband a similar thickness to this for like a nice belt tie. So all you need to do is measure how big your waistband is. This is just under two inches so I'm going to do mine about one and a half inches. Firstly just draw a straight line. So there's we've got our line like that. And then we want to measure one and a half and then add a seam allowance which is five eighths. So if we just do one and a half, oh. so there we go. And then we've got those dots we can draw another line. So we've kind of got our like belt line and then we just need to add a seam allowance to that. So five eighths, one, two, one, two, three. Three, four, five. Yeah, add that on both sides, and then it means you just stitch down the middle and make your belt piece. Um, and we need two of these. Now, to be honest, I'm going to cut that by eye. You can draw more lines if you want to, but it's just a rectangle, so I'm just going to eyeball it. And then I think we need one more so that we have enough to tie into like a nice bow at the front. So if we use the other leg. Lovely, so we have six pieces in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what these will do, will sew good side to good side together down the rectangles, turn them in on themselves and well first we stitch them together, I'll show you how to do that in a minute but you should have three panels of these in a line, one, two, three and then you stitch them along the long length and pull it through on each, on each other and we'll create our nice little belt to go around the waist, to create that paper bag waist, so they're done we also need to create some belt loops for the trousers so that the belt doesn't fall off and um, go anywhere, keeps it nice, looks, makes it look more expensive um, so what we're going to do is just going to create some little loop things like this. So again, we need to do the waistband measurements, which was just under two inches. We need to double that, so we say four inches, and then add a seam allowance. So then we want it about half an inch wide. Let's do it on this bit. Make sure it's nice and flat. First of all, let's do half an inch. Add our seam allowance, which is five eighths. And then we can do a rough line. Because if you have don't have enough, then that's more annoying to recut as long as we have enough. Like that. Cut that there. Cut that there. So now we have two pieces for the belt loops that will go on the waist. So there we go, we have our pieces ready and cut. We've got our belt, um, which is times six. We've got our belt loops, which is times four. And then we have cut the ends of our trousers off ready to turn up. So the first thing really is, if you've got an overlocker to clean off this edge, I'm going to just finish this edge with an overlocker. I don't want the rolled hem to be heavy. The alteration on the waist, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do yet. I think it might just be a case of adding in an extra little dart on the back of this waistband like that, because you won't really see it on the back, and also it'll be covered by the belt that we're creating. So um, I'll get to that when it, when it comes to it, but um, for now, I'm just gonna do this bit first and sew these belts and everything together. So I've ironed the trousers 
up like that. I'll show you. So it like this. And I've just done a stitch on the outside and inside seam. And I've done it in like a little T shape, so it goes across like that and down like that. Um, I initially thought you had to sew all the way around, but then when we sew that, or iron that up rather, so you get that folding hem, you don't want to see the exposed seam on the outside. So the exposed thread on the outside rather. Um, stitching so I've just done it on the inside and outside and then I'll iron it up like that and then I'll stitch it again on the sides so it keeps it in place so you kind of get this like gappy bit in the middle but I can always add in some invisible stitching on the inside so you don't see it. Now with the belt we've got three panels and I've just stitched one panel together like this um, and I'm just going to stitch another one across here and that way you get three panels together and then we need to do two of these so I'm going to stitch this together on this small bit. And now we have both panels what you want to do is put good side to good side like that matching up your stitching like this and then you want to stitch down one complete length. So there is the stitched piece. You get stitched all the way across. So what you want to do is you want to stitch your second line leaving the ends open on each side and you're just going to have to pull it through on itself um, which is the bit that takes a while to do but I'm going to just pull that through on itself now and then um, we just use a safety pin to pull it in on itself. Trim off your extra seam allowance. And here are the belt loops. I've just stitched them and trimmed the edges and now I can turn them the right way around. And to do that you just put a safety pin on the corner. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Safety pin it. There we go. And then you put the safety pin inside there we go until it starts to pull it like that and then you just need to slowly pull it on itself I've made them a bit thicker so it's easier to do because I really hate tiny ones there we go Ta -da. now to do the belt this one's going to take a lot a while because we've got all of this to turn outside um, but I'd like to just sit here and maybe sing a song or something. <laughs> Ta-da! There we go. I'm going to go downstairs now and iron it. Um, all I need to do is just iron it flat. It's really simple, straightforward. You just want to make sure that when you iron, you kind of like push out that seam and get it as crisp and nice as possible. That fabric was actually really difficult to iron, but here are my belt loops. And here is my belt, which looks really cute and actually um, it's turned out really well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to turn these in on themselves and stitch those closed. It's a little bit fiddly. Um, little tip as well, so you can stitch right close to the edge on the sewing machine. You can put a bit of paper underneath because sometimes, you know, when you're, like, your machine tries to eat up um, stuff, or you can finish that by hand, but... I'll do that on the machine. And then the way of the shorts, I've turned them up twice now. So they just need to be stitched at the bottom in the same way I did um, with that first fold, just in a little T shape on the edges. So I'm gonna do that. Here are the shorts. Um, but as you can see, it's been folded once. So what we're gonna do with the next one just got to do a little stitch across and then a stitch down, stitch in the ditch they call it, in that little bit there. And that will just keep them folded upwards and obviously we can do a few invisible stitches on the inside um, if it's still not sitting quite right. But I'm going to do that, I call it a little T shape just because it goes across and down like a little capital T. So I'm going to just stitch that now. To take it in what I've done is I've just unpicked that little bit where the back dart was 
and I'm just going to stitch up and over onto the waistband um, and then the belt will cover this. Hopefully it looks alright, um, I'm just kind of winging it to be honest. There we go, from the outside it just looks like the dart's still there but it just comes up over the waistband. And there we go, I've just overlocked it as well just so that any of the bulk has been cut off and then I can iron that nice and flush and you won't really notice on the outside. Um, but yeah, try to keep it as neat as possible and do it in the easiest way because I really couldn't be bothered to take the waistband off um, and do it all from scratch. So it's looking all right. Just need to add on my little belt loops. As you can see, I actually made them huge. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I thought for some reason you had to double it, but you don't obviously. So I just need to work out a way to stitch them on like this. You would do a stitch like that to fold it and then you can either stitch it around the other side and do it or you can do another. So they're nearly there, they're nearly finished but I wanted to add either some embroidery or something to them to kind of give them a little bit of a, a unique look. And I decided to have a look through my craft supplies and I found this really sweet daisy trim that I had excess from my wedding dress. So I thought, why not use this to add a little bit of detail to it? So what I've decided to do is on these side pockets here, I'm going to add some of this daisy trim to the sides of the pockets like that and just delicately hand stitch it on with some white thread um, and I'll obviously cut it to there. So that'll be one side and then I'll do it on the other side as well. And then to finish it completely, um, they're kind of a bit too baggy, the, the rolling hem. So I'm gonna put some invisible stitches and what that means is I will stitch on the um, inside and just pick up the one layer not both layers so you won't see it from the front so I'm going to hand stitch that and then it'll be finished so I'm going to clip to the finished result So that is it you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I turned these mint green trousers into some lovely rolled up shorts. I love the fact that I've got the bow detail on the belt and how it kind of cinches in my waist a lot more and it's just a lot more flattering than the trousers were. I think that the trousers into shorts is just a more trendy kind of option for summer um, if I want to wear something that's a bit more smart casual with some cute little t-shirts or something like that but I absolutely love it and the little daisy trim just kind of finishes it all off and so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you'd like to see more of these upcycling videos then definitely let me know because I really enjoy doing it so yeah thank you so much subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye